This is a short truncated tutorial on how to navigate yourself around uh, the Google Classroom platform. Here we have a a, uh, a a trial subject which I enrolled myself into. So the whole thing would be viewed in the perspective of the students. So I am a student here. I will be joining this class as a student. As you can see, I am already enrolled in this trial subject. And so I will click on this same as you do sa inyong mga Google Classroom. So here goes. This would be the dashboard of our classroom. Any activity or any announcement posted here will be placed in this category. If you can see, there was a greeting here, good morning, around 11 a.m. this day. Now, I am viewing this as a student. So, the first thing that I can see here would be there are upcoming activities on the left side. No? Or for easier na approach, we can go to, we can view it here, right? So, some, something is posted here, a new assignment, another new assignment, and a question is also posted, new material, and so on and so forth, right? So, what we will be doing is we will click in order for us to address this, these posts, we will click on the classwork. Now, in this portion, all activities all activities would be would be placed in this part of the Google Classroom, the classwork. And so, uh, in my subjects, those tasks that needs to be addressed are placed under task, while those things that uh, uh, that are posted as materials or reading reference are posted under reading so para uh, to lessen the confusion now what you will be viewing is uh, the tasks here no? you can also view we, we will get back to the reading later no? so let's go to tasks for example I will click on this assignment who are you I will be viewing the question this was assigned to me and so who are you this would be a hundred points posted by your instructor, 11:30 a.m. Uh, no deadlines were posted, so midju kwana siya, midju midju fluid, right? So where will I put my answer? I will not place my answer in the comment section because it's for, of course, uh, it's for commenting. As you can see here, there's a part where in Type, you type your answer and turn in and so who are you I will answer my name is Max for example so I will turn it in okay. you won't be able to make changes to your answer after you submit so this is like submitting your submitting an answer from a quiz or in a face-to-face -face basis now anyway so when I click turn in it will be submitted to the instructor and also when you turn in your your outputs you can also click on the private comments put some co if you want to uh, put some comments there we did put no so that's that's the thing with this now another another activity that other teachers may post would not be of the same na form for example this activity I haven't answered it yet so what I will be doing is I will view this assignment so what is this assignment it says the question was what color is the sky this task is worth a hundred points but there's an additional here it has an instruction it says a 1,000 word essay so how will I answer this? There are two ways to answer this. Right? First is 
you can click here if now if the teacher didn't post any form then inani ang mugawas now, so what will i do if inani ang itsura sa assignment i'll be viewing here on this part your work and under there add or create what will I be doing? What will I be creating? No. So, naka choice. If you have a laptop, you can you can encode on your Microsoft Word and save it and then attach as a file, for example. For example, I have already done the assignment. So, I will add, add file and then search for the assignment that I did. For example, this one. Or not that one. For example, uh, this one, and then insert. And so, oh, anyway, so it would be the same thing. You no know, file. Uh, sige, sige. Upload. For example, I'll browse for a work that I did. Mm, for example, this article to open. And it will be uploaded sa group. And then, turn in. Okay? Turn in. Meaning, I will submit it. But before I turn in, I say, fine. Let's turn it in and then submit. But there's another way of answering this. Okay, let me unsubmit that. There's another way of answering this. This. Uh, this assignment to add or create if wala kay laptop and phone rin na ani mo and kaya ni mo mag encode sa phone on a 1000 word essay for example you can add or create and then you have the docs it will automatically create a google doc na file and then there oh, mo hatag siya another link for a google doc na file what color is the sky? The sky is blue. Okay. Automatic na siya nga ma-save. Okay. Automatic na siya nga ma-save. No? Last edit was made seconds ago by Anonymous. That means I have already, I have already, butanta, or the document has al already been saved. Now, if na-save na siya, na nadiraan doc, you can turn it in na dayon. Okay. So, in this part, doon na akong submit But on... Many occasions, kung unsa lai eh, comfortable sa mo whether you will use Microsoft Word or the Google Docs. Okay. Okay. So let's go sa tasks. Balik. So we have already answered this this assignment. Who are you? And we have already also answered what color is the sky. There's another assignment. What is your name? And so, wala shy, wala shy. Instruction, but na additional, na shy deadline August twenty two, right? So you're given what three days to make a one hundred point one assignment on this. So the same gapon, whether you add a file. Where, where naka-answer, naka-encode, naka naka sa Microsoft Word And you have already saved it You add a file And then, same process gapon Add a file And then, example, upload, browse And then, you look for the file that you have And then, uh, rubrics And then, pack Let it upload and Let it uh, load And then, boom You already have your submission or, or, if wala kay laptop, cellphone lang, and kaya ni mo ni Buhaton on his cellphone, given nga dili magsakit yung eyes, you could do the Google Docs. Same gapon, insert a Google Doc, click on the Google Doc, kung di siya mo automatic, there's your spread, uh, there's your, 
Tanta, your plain white sheet of paper and so you answer what is your name that already saved na na siya if you if you see this already saved na to siya and so this one pwede na na to siya i-turn in kung gusto ka manigurado you want to make sure uh, let it let it load for a bit for example a minute siguro or two minutes let it load for a bit and then turn in okay, you click on turn in so and then you submit it's as easy as that you could also add a comment here kung nakai comment sa inyong instructor for example uh, make the instructions uh, understandable or sir picture ni yes uh, another thing if naglisod mo wala mo yung cellphone ay na mo yung cellphone Dili, maglisod mo type wala mo yung laptop you could add or create and then unsa akong i-attach nga file you could answer on a paper answer on a clean white sheet of bond paper and then take a picture of your answer and then attach gapon as file so inana okay, you could do an experiment on this on your own uh, just don't limit yourself lang sa akong itudlo. I'm just showing you the, the basics on uh, submitting files dira sa, dira sa Google Classroom. Even if naakay laptop, you could also do the docs. No? Or slides. Kung pahimuon mo PowerPoint, you have the slides. No? Kung pa, pa, if you were tasked to do to put data on a spreadsheet na put a spreadsheet no so it's uh it's 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 not easy it's uh it's user friendly so kana okay so hopefully hopefully no uh nobody will have a hard time aning aning ato ang google classroom and i hope that it helps you a lot no so that's all